in a long time. Lou Dort with the shot clock down. It's going up for Shea Gilgis Alexander. No, he gave it off in time to George Hill. Had a lead early for OKZ. He worked his way in, settled for a 15-footer to get himself going. Then that makes that shot a little easier. George Hill, and you mentioned it. George can flat out shoot. Spacing is Dort. And Shea Gilgis Alexander with a nifty move. Good box out by Lonzo. It'll be the Pels ball with Al Horford coming over his back. They're plus nine and a half. They're out rebounding their opponents at nine and a half a game. Backdoor run. Brandon Ingram sharing it with Zion. How about the leave? An extra pass and a foul. That's unselfish. And allows the opportunity to get his teammates involved, understanding that his time will come. Gilgis Alexander. Difficult shot off balance. Who is, is Steven Adams? You get an opportunity to turn the corner and use your size. So Lonzo with his second bucket. Nice roll to the rim. Little baby hook by Al Horford. Is I, I, he on balance? Yeah, he is on balance. He is on balance. I, I tell you what's nice to see. The way that's a nice shot by Shea Gilgis Alexander. If you look at the... That's only the second try for Brandon Ingram. And a walk. Change of the pivot foot. They've only beaten one team that had a winning record last year. And that was Toronto. Gilgis Alexander... With the auto who just came in and he's going to the line. And the Pels have their biggest lead of the game now at 9. 32 on the board already. 90 seconds still to play. Gilgis Alexander. He found the space he wanted. A little brush. For the Pelicans as well. Good look ahead. Gilgis Alexander too strong. Jackson clears it away. And now you're playing for one basically. Get it across the line. The thing that B.I. knows is that he gets to his spot and elevates. There's nothing Lou Dort can do to bother him. Gilgis Alexander. Eight to nothing run for the Pels with the ball. He has a lot in his offensive bag. I'm so glad you said it. To see him play like this, to come off and then knock down the 15-foot jump shot. This young man is playing really well for them right now. Yep. He's in no man's land. That's a great angle. I love the class. 57-52. Gilgis Alexander not close. Only up by five. Points off turnovers have something to do with that. We're a minus seven. Lonzo and... They're going to call a, a pick and a foul. Or no, check that. It's going to be on Basel. Thank you so much, Paris. Pelicans have 26 points in the paint. As Baisley spots up from the corner. Zion on the high screen for Bledsoe. And right now what they're doing, they're, gun, they're going under all screen and rolls and daring the Pelicans to beat them from the perimeter. And because they're pushing the pace of this game, the Pels aren't sending a whole lot of guys to the basket. Oh, what a cut, what a play. Baisley, again, the beneficiary, as SJ found him underneath. They're last in the league in points per game. It'll be Shea Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, they're not a high percentage three-point team. Baisley. And in scramble mode, Pels didn't have to pay. That's back-to-back -back misses from beyond the arc for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He is up to 18 like Brandon Ingram. Too easy. Gilgis Alexander. Alexander. So Gilgis Alexander among a select group of guys under 25. You can feed off the crowd when you start to get on. The, this is a time where you really need the bench. There's no question he was gassed at the end of that last yes. game. Got 31 points, but it took 31 shots. That's a nice take. Gilgis Alexander. Lonzo. End of the shot clock. Step back long two. Good close out there by Walker Alexander. SGA. Top three over the outstretched arm of Hart, and he knocks it down. Gilgis Alexander, the catalyst now, after it was Baisley early in the second half. And he got to the bucket again. Couldn't get the finish as Lonzo clears it away. Was 29th in the league in fast break points at seven and a half. One and done. But the one and done, right now, what you see from the Pelicans, they're playing outside of the three-point line. And what OKC is doing is they're playing inside the three-point line. So they have been smoked, basically, here in the third. They're down 17 points in the third alone. And Zion takes it away. And Steven Adams has it. They, they've done a really good job in this fourth quarter of keeping. Josh Hart, real flat, but right back to him. And on the reverse, he'll share with Lonzo for the lead. Steven kept it alive. 
Can't take it away. Out of the paint in this fourth quarter. Right when I say that. You got it. And it rolls off. Shea Gilders Alexander. One of his better looks of the. Shea Gilders Alexander. George Hill. Good look. And he gets the lead. And, and if you're Nikhil, you almost want to stay connected. I understand the defend the paint mentality, but there's also situations. Lonzo blocked away by Al Horford. Steven is so good at helping on the pick and roll and then rotating back. Extra pass. It'll be Horford. Too good a look. He got it at the end of the shot clock. One point game. He deserves it the way he's played all year. It's a reach. And... See, and, and they're going to count it. And that's one of those plays. So Shea Gilgis Alexander, fouled by his cousin, ties things up at 106. And allowed him to take you home. Now a word from FanDuel. Shea Gilders Alexander up against Lonzo Ball as they flatten out on a 1-4, but here comes George Hill. They fake the pick. Steven comes over. Loose stuff. Al Horford comes away with it.